Hey, hey, Starfish and Fire, and I'm back here for another hot sauce review. All right, so today I've got something I've been wanting to do for a while. Just got this today. Lechosa's Hot Sauce. This is from uh, David Lechosa and his wife, this uh, owner-operator of the company. And this is a three-pack of sauces that I got from them recently. I'm going to check this out. So this is the, look at that, this one here I believe, I ordered it here, is the fire package. It's got, oh boy, jalapeno, uh, the ghost, and Carolina madness. So we got three sauces here, each ranging in different heat levels. We're going to give these a go. All right. I'm excited. I've seen a few, uh, few videos of people doing taste tests of these, and they seem to be very good. Uh, from what I can tell, uh, a lot of good ingredients involved. So we're going to start out with Lechosa's Oh Boy Jalapeno. You can see that there. It's definitely got a jalapeno look about it kind of a, a darker green. You can see a lot of things floating in there. Shake well it says. Let's see what we're working with ingredient wise. Uh, okay, fresh jalapeno, um, fresh jalapenos, water, garlic in water, uh, sugar, vinegar, salt, bujolokia, ghost pepper so yeah so it's got a little uh, ghost pepper in there as well um, it does have a quick release you can probably utilize those better but sometimes those can be a little tricky let's just use the knife there we go yeah so uh, let's see how these go very excited about these. Go with the bigger spoon, Johnny Scoville. Thank you for the spoon, and once again, David, thank you for the sauces. All right. Okay, the vinegar and the jalapeno is coming through mostly. Got a medium body. There's definitely some chunks floating in there. You can see a little bit. Now the camera's not the greatest. Um, yes. Okay, so this is Starfish of Fire. And this is Oh Boy Jalapeno. Wow. Now I forgot to mention, so they have a five, five fire rating. There's three out of five there. That's and it, that's a good rating. This has got much more heat, and it's probably the ghost pepper than I'd expect. Now there's some chunks of jalapeno there. That is the main ingredient. It's almost like like you'd see like chunks in like relish. That's awesome. Okay, so this has got some heat, and this is just the first level. I mean, it's three out of five. I use a 10 scale. Heat wise, I'm going to put this at a three. I mean, it's it's got a little sting to it. Back of the tongue, a little bit in the throat. But the flavor is there. I like that. This would be great on tacos. In fact, when I go to my favorite Mexican restaurant up the street, you get some street tacos, I'll be bringing this one. In fact, we'll see how the others turn out if I bring all three of them, but that would be great on some tacos. Maybe even fish tacos. Oh boy, jalapeno, yes. Great sauce, David. Awesome. All right. So, uh, next one here is the ghost. Now, this is a four out of five. The ghost. 
ingredients. Uh, let's see here. Smaller print. Um, you know I'm going to need some readers. <laughs> What is that? Water? Can't really read that. That's something butter. I'm going to have to look that up. Sorry, folks. Vinegar. Red. Habanero. Uh, hatch chili. Now, those are good. I like those. Powder. Okay. Uh dried red bell peppers, garlic in water, sugar, buccalocia, so ghost pepper, uh, salt, cayenne pepper, spice, xanthan gums, emulsifier. So I swear I could read that. Oh, emulsified butter. Sorry, that's interesting. Second ingredient. That's that's. I've never. I don't think I've ever had something like that in a in a hot sauce. All right, so this should have some heat to it. Last one certainly did. It's still lingering, actually. All right, the ghost. Let's give it a go. This one also looks to be a thick sauce. Yeah, it's a medium body sauce, like a maroon red. Whoa. There's something rich going on. That must be the butter. Okay. Interesting. All right. Starfish to fire. This is the ghost. Let's try it. Oh. Wow. Okay, so I understand what's going on here now. And I know already what I'm... Oh! Ah! Got carried away. What I'm going to do with this. Okay, so this heat level... I'm going to let that rise for a minute. Let's talk about the flavor. So, this... Um, oh, unsalted butter. Yes, unsalted butter. So that's the second ingredient. That's what I'm getting that richness from. This is going to be used in some cooking. And now when I say cooking, so usually what I do when I'm working with sauces, oftentimes what I'll do is I'll take the sauce and put it on after I fix whatever I am fixing. I tend to do, let's say I do a meat, a veg, and a potato dish of some sort, or starch, you know, rice, potato, what have you. Each one's going to get a different sauce, and I try to pair up the sauces specifically for that particular veg, starch, and meat. And this, though, I'm going to use as it's cooking, as almost a glaze. Uh, I think because of the butter, that's going to be what this is going to be used for. Red meat. I'm thinking some kind of stew type meat not like a stick cut up meat beef yeah that's that's very unique David I've, I've never seen anything like that with the butter unsalted butter wow that's unique oh no the heat level um, you know that's gonna be just a little bit hotter than the other one and I think I still sit in the heat from the first one it's going to be, red, I think, still around a three, maybe pushing a four, because that heat's still lingering, and it's got my whole tongue going. It's hard to tell sometimes when you're uh, going from sauce to sauce and increasing the heat, because that heat lingers. All right, so this last one is the Carolina Madness. Carolina Madness, all right. And it's a five out of five on the heat scale. Let's, let's have a look at what we're working with here. Oh, there's a lot of ingredients. Okay. Alright. Mmm. Let my eyes settle into this. Wow. Water. Fresh raspberries. Second ingredient. Raspberries. Okay. Wanted to make sure you count that. Vinegar. 
dried red bell pepper, habanero powder, fresh onion, sugar, Trinidad Maruga scorpion powder, salt, spice, cayenne, pepper, garlic, and water, bourbon. I've had a couple bourbon infused sauces, but not with raspberry. Interesting. Okay, so bourbon. Carolina Reaper pepper powder. Xanthan gum. I like how it says South Carolina pepper. Carolina Reaper. Alright, so we've got bourbon. We've got some sugar. we got some raspberries going on. As well as habanero. And scorpion pepper. So yeah, I expect this one to be fairly hot. Alright, exciting. I like the idea of raspberries, first of all. Wow. The first thing I smell, obviously the second ingredient is raspberries, but that's what I'm getting. Followed up with hot pepper. But the sweetness of the raspberries is the first thing that comes through. Will it be a dessert sauce? Let's find out. Again, same consistency, medium body, darker red, some chunks in there. Starfish and fire, let's give it a go. Wow. Okay. Whoo! This Wow. Okay. Whew. I'm let that heat build for a minute. Let's talk about the flavor. The raspberries come through right in the front. Hit you right up front. Here comes the heat, rising, rising, oh, it's going all the way to the back of the throat, entire tongue. You've got that habanero, then the scorpion, the Carolina Reaper, they all hit in different kind of ways and places, and they pick up in different spots. Okay. Excellent flavor. The heat's going to be pushing. It's still growing, so it might get close to a 5 on my scale. Right now it's at a 4. Let's just see if it climbs a little bit. But, wow, the, the sweetness of the raspberries is what I really enjoy. Now, this is something I can see mixed with drizzled vinaigrette on a salad with perhaps some crumbled uh, gorgonzola and walnuts. That heat's still rising a little bit. Entire tongue burn, back of the throat. Now, to give you an idea, when I talk about my scale of 1 to 10, if it hits a 5, generally I'm going to start, you know, the eyes will start to water. I can feel that starting to begin. Maybe the nose will go a little bit, you know. Um, this is a good heat. This is a pleasurable heat, and the flavor is excellent. I'm going to experiment with this in terms of what I put it on. But I could definitely see that as a, uh, you got to like your spicy food, but spicy like a vinaigrette because of the raspberries. Mix that in with a little bit of uh, regular vinaigrette and, you know, drizzle it over there. Yes, I can make some exciting salads with this. I got some ideas. Whew! Yeah, the heat is there. Very good. So I'm looking forward to trying some more of their sauces. They have a line here. Um, the original mango habanero peach habanero, 
So those are the other threes they're showing here, and I think they have some other ones. But these are the uh, the three of the spicier ones. And that heat's still lingering. So what I recommend y'all, it goes, like Joel says, check it out. Great sauce. I'm going to have fun cooking with these. I will be posting, if you want to look on uh, Facebook, uh, there's a site called For the Love of Hot Sauce for you fans out there. Um, join that. Uh, David's on there. That's where I you know, first came upon his uh, sauces. Um, he's posting a lot. I, uh, I'll post pictures of food I make. I try to experiment with different things, whatever I have kicking around in the kitchen. Different sauces that you can see. I got a nice little selection of stuff that I haven't opened up yet. Um, a lot in the fridge. So check that out for the love of hot sauce. And of course, you enjoy watching this for more reviews. Go ahead and like and share and all that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, go check out these sauces. They're excellent. Wow, that heat is still lingering. Now that that's. That's a good sauce. I love that kind of burn where it's just a steady burn. Awesome. All right, y'all. This is Starfish of Fire. I'll be back again soon. You know I've got a couple challenges to do back here. One I'm not looking forward to too much, but it, it's probably going to kill me, this, this candy bar here. But uh, we'll talk more about that later. In the meantime, y'all have a good evening. I'm out.